Hi everyone, this is Linus, you're watching Gizmo China, and this is a review of the affordable human fair smartphone. What we have in the packaging are the USB cable and a power plug. When it comes to the design, we are looking at a fairly compact phone due to its 5 inches display. Yumifair is lightweight and it sits comfortably in the hand due to rounded corners and a soft, somewhat baby skin finish on the back. On the front, we have a 2 megapixel shooter, earpiece, and a sensor light. This time around, Yumi chose to implement on screen navigation buttons. The chassis is made of metal, and on the right, we have volume rocker along with the power key. On the top, there is a headset jack, and on the bottom, we have a charging part. As far as the optics go, there is a 13 megapixel shooter along with a dual LED flash. Right underneath the camera, there is a fingerprint scanner. On the bottom, we have just a speaker grill. The back plate can be removed, and underneath it, you can find a removable 2000 mAh battery, two SIM card slots, and a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. The Yumi Fair comes with a 5 inches 720p panel, which is definitely not the sharpest we've seen, but it is pretty good for a budget phone. However, the sunlight visibility could be a little bit better. When it comes to the UI, Yumi Fair runs on Android 5.1 out of the box with a light Yumi skin on top of it. It is almost a stock Android build, but as usual we have some extra features like gesture controls built in. However, they don't seem to be working fine all the time or working slowly. The star of the show of this phone is supposed to be a fingerprint reader, however, it does not impress. Firstly, the setup is very slow and it takes forever to register your fingerprint. Also, the reader is super slow and inaccurate despite registering the same finger three times. Honestly, I ended up turning off the fingerprint scanner feature off. In general, the UI is working smoothly, but I've had a, quite a few error messages from the Google Play Store, a few app crashes, but most importantly, downloading huge apps like Asphalt 8 can be a pain. It just takes forever to download them in comparison to higher-end phones. The Yumi Fair has a pretty standard configuration for budget phones, MDK6735 chip, 1GB of RAM and 8GB of expandable storage. While the day-to-day -day performance is usually smooth, but the 3D gaming is also possible, but you will experience a constant stutter and lots of skip frames. Consuming HD content is smooth. As far as the rear-mounted speaker, it is similar story like on other cheap phones. It is just mediocre. The 13 megapixels camera on the back does not impress. There is a low amount of details, colors look washed out, and the dynamic range adjustment is just terrible. Video quality does not impress either. I would rate a call quality ok and same goes with other connectivity options. They work fine but the GPS is not the fastest to get a lock speed and not the most accurate one. The battery life is decent but nothing really impressive. I could get over 3 hours of screen on time on a daily basis and doing just some basic tasks. I would call Yumi Fair just another budget phone from China. Well, it has a decent design and a good build quality. However, the main selling point, which is a fingerprint reader, does not work properly. It is very slow to set up and the real life usage is just a pain. It is not accurate and it is very slow and it makes you want to turn this feature off. In general, I was happy with the UI performance but those Google Play Store errors and a few app crashes were annoying. All in all, Yumi Fair is not the worst phone we've seen in this price range, but it is not the best either. It costs just over 100 US dollars, and I will leave a link in the description below this video in case you want to check it out. It was Linus, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Gizmo China's YouTube channel. Also, I suggest you visiting gizmochina.com for all the latest and greatest Chinese tech news and reviews. See you in the next video soon.